Good morning, boys and girls. It is the 1st of the 5th, 2024. I now look out upon the dystopian view of Manchester from the highest point of the car park. All those lovely rodents in their rodent boxes, which they've paid hundreds of thousands for. Unbelievable. Anyway, right. Then the vaccine. I'm now on the dose of 220 micrograms per day. But you think, fucking hell, Kai, that's a bit of an increase, that, isn't it, son? It is. I thought I'd been on them for decades. Well, for months, right? And turns out, no, this will be week 12. My new dose started last week. Oh, I can only say it gave me massive... disassociation I wasn't connected to anything for a solid week literally I thought I was having conversations with people when I wasn't genuinely I was like texting and stuff and replying to people but I wasn't actually having verbal convos convos you know what I mean actually like talking why would the increase my dose um I am struggling. It's a fact of life for me at the moment, but there's a lot of people struggling around me as well. Okay. I'm not the only person out there, but I can only ever speak from my perspective and what I'm going through. I have incredibly, incredibly violent thoughts. And on occasion, I I do act upon them because I just won't tolerate the bullshit. And... That is what it is at the moment, but what I don't want to do is end up sat in a prison cell because of some absolute knob sock, <laughs> in, the, in the simplest way you're putting it. It has no nothing better in life to do than to provoke and push because that's all they're used to. They can get, they're used to getting away with it. And then they come across somebody like me who will not take that shit and give them a beat down of the lifetime. So I'll be sizey, incredibly violent intrusive thoughts i'm having flashbacks i've had flashbacks in the day which is shit um nighttime fucking hell nighttime is no fun at all because obviously then your mind's kind of like you're kind of relaxing your body's relaxing you know and that's when things from the past are coming up i've had random things come up Totally random. Things that, you know, where the fuck's that come from type thing? Really strange. I've had the weirdest types of dreams ever, but I don't know if that's a side effect of the medication. Nights are bad because... The past comes talking. The past comes talking. People that are no longer with us. It's a very, um, unusual thing to comprehend and understand. Unless I think, unless you're actually going through it. And I need you boys and girls to understand if you are going through similar to what I'm going through, please don't think that it's weird or you're a freak or anything else because you're not. Okay, it's a natural part of the process of going through and addressing the past and trying to heal from that, trying to change your behaviour, trying to change your trauma-based behaviour. It doesn't come overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm sorry, but it's not. I think a lot of people expect us to, uh, oh, he's got medication, now he's right. Fuck off. Right? The reality is, no, we're not right. It can take decades for some people. I'm only properly, properly now with medication, not not even three months into the journey, properly, solidly, properly. Does the medication help? Yes, it does. It does genuinely help. It genuinely helps me. Did, he ex- did I expect to see it as a long-term... Assistance? No. Is it going to be? It looks that way. But I'm all right with that. 
I understand it is it is helping me. Don't get me wrong. There are days still, and there will still be days where I'm up and down and I'm rolling round. And suicidal thoughts, yes, hundred percent. The most important thing I need to tell you boys and girls and all of you need to understand, right? We are not a burden because we go through that and we think that there's no point in us being here anymore. We're just causing issues, you know, just a pressure on everybody. And that's not the case. And the darkness will come over you. Trust me, I've been having it a lot, okay? And you have to fight that fucker and you have to fight it out. And the days when I can't, I'm exhausted, I'm done. I'm done and I can't have anybody around me because I need that silence. I need to just be there within myself. I can't deal with absolutely fucking anything. Like I said in the previous video, forgetting to shower and stuff like that, which I've never done before. So now I have a reminder to make sure that I'm showering every day. You know, the, one of the other biggest things is not wanting to eat. I don't want to eat. It's a fucking nightmare. I used to love my food, me. Absolute little fat man. <laughs> in a nice way. But please don't give up, boys and girls. Um, I can only speak from my perspective where it is concerned with medication. And what I'm going through. I'm very interested to see how you boys and girls are coping with medication if you're going through the process if you're waiting for a psychologist like i am i'm you know it could be up to six months it could be a year it could be longer before i get to see someone who can deal with what i'm going through and i have to accept that and it's not enough here in the uk as it is to help people like myself and other people you know there we go that's my time to go in and try and eat something, which I, I will try, but it's really difficult. Just keep on fighting, boys and girls. We are survivors. We get up every day, we face it, we put our armour on, we go out, and we get back on the battlefield. When we go home, we strip the armour off, and we sit, and we are exhausted mentally and physically, but we try to be there for other people as well. Stay strong.